It's a stereotype in the musician's world that bass players aren't the ones getting the groupies after the show. Think about the bass players that you know. You might not know any bass players, so think about your own life. You want to get those groupies after that show? Well, then I think that you should learn slap bass. I'm going to teach you. My name's Gavin. Come on in. Slapping is a highly percussive way of playing the bass. Now, a lot of people think that you're just taking your thumb and just whacking, whacking the strings, you know, as hard as you can, which does get a nice sound. But in order to have the maximum control and get the maximum speed out of it, there's more refinement that comes with that. Now, instead of just taking our thumbs and burying it in, which can occasionally kind of fuzz out, like that, think of it more of a whizzing motion. You're whizzing past the string. So we're going to take our thumb and kind of swing past the string that we're aiming to hit. So see here, I'm looking to hit the A string. And you can see that my thumb actually ends up resting on the D string. Now, you may, you may notice that the sound kind of chokes off. That's because I'm taking my left hand, my fretting hand here, and as I hit the note, I let it ring out for as long as I want. I'm kind of going for a shorter sound here. And I just lift, lift it up to where, you know, my hand is not off the string, but it's stopping the vibrations. But be warned, because it is this part of your thumb that's making contact with the string, it is going to hurt for a little while. You're going to build up a callus. But the good news is, you'll be able to hammer in nails into your wall with your thumbs. So along with slapping comes popping. Now popping is kind of like when we just pluck with our finger, though it's a more aggressive version. Your finger is actually going to be a little bit more under, and you literally pop the string. That sound is coming from the string making contact with the frets. You get that sharp sound. Now, one thing to watch out for is you don't want to pull the string too far off. I've seen many a people just rip the G string off of the bass. It's a great stage technique, but strings ain't exactly cheap. So here's a slap, and here's a pop. Slap, pop. When you're learning the mechanics of this, I recommend taking a metronome, putting it at a nice slow speed, whatever's comfortable for you, and just making sure that you have, that you have them clean and nice. Now you might be wondering how to approach slap playing. I prefer to think of it like drums. Your thumb is going to be the bass drum. And when you pop, it's going to be like a snare sound. Pop, pop. So one exercise that will help you come up with interesting parts is to think of any pattern that a drummer might play. And then mimic the bass drum and the snare part with your fingers and your thumb. So let's think of one, for instance. Um, do, do, pop. Do 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 pop, do do pop, do 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 pop, do do pop, do 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 pop, do do pop. Here is a popular slap example that ought to help you woo the groupie. It's from the Red Hot Chili Peppers, and it's their version of Stevie Wonder's Higher Ground, as featured in the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie. A one, two, three, four. I hope you've had a good time. If you have any questions, email me. I also teach lessons on Skype or in person in the Boston area. And I hope you have a happy slappy.